Dragonfly 2. My first dragonfly used a rectangular wing plan composed of PLA, printed ribs, and a spar, and covered that with three millimeters of foam and packing tape. Dragonfly 2. I'm going with lightweight PLA and a tapered wing, which I designed with the curved shape worksheet in FreeCAD. It uses sheer webs cut into the wing, kind of like you would get with a vase mode printing. My particular tweaks to that allows a vase print with a closed top. There are a few posts on the Aero Modeler's website about a lot of the background to the FreeCAD techniques and the design of shear webs. Also took the oval PLA fuselage and redesigned it for printing with lightweight PLA. So it's got slightly thicker walls, but I don't really trust lightweight PLA for holding the servos, so I designed a PLA insert for that, which glues in between the shear webs. There is both a mechanical differential and a transmitter differential for those aerolons. On the underside of the wing, there's a shallow slot for the servo wiring. And in order to allow for different wings to be used with this fuselage, I included a separate trailing wing support. The tail is, of course, just foam board, but I've got a printed adapter from the carbon fiber tube that includes an elliptical skid to protect the push-pull elevator horn. The overall span is 1,020 millimeters, 200 millimeters at the root, 80 millimeters at the tip, aspect ratio of seven. It's got a long boom that brings the overall length to 950 millimeters. Designed it for the center of gravity around 27%. The ready to fly weight is 450 grams with a 650 milliampere band degree. What's it like to fly? It would be great if it proved to be a slow park flyer. After a week of high winds, the prediction was for a sunny day with a light breeze. It proved to be variable with some gusting. Usual pre-flights checks completed, we launch into the wind, and it's immediately apparent that we're going to be tossed around quite a bit. It takes a few minutes to figure out quite how we're going to crawl our way into the wind. With some altitude, let's see what kind of flying we could do with this dragonfly. With a few adjustments to the COG, we launch again. One thing I notice is that it tends to climb with neutral sticks. If it were calm, I'd attempt some trim, but in these conditions, I don't want to fumble that, so I just keep the stick slightly above neutral. In this session, I'm focusing on doing some lazy figure eights. And I find that not very much stick is needed. Hey, that's good. The wind, I want to keep it well in front of me. In the video, yeah, it's zoomed in. But out there in the field, wow, that beastie's still rather small. The color on the wings helps, but I do wish it could be closer. Okay, this thing about landing. I don't want to land with the wind. And across the wind is not likely to be much less painful. Can I do a quick turn back into the wind, but low enough to complete a landing? Yeah, 
a bit too much lift. It's not as smooth as I would have liked. Okay, further tweaks to the COG. Eh, feels a little bit better. Still needs trimming. Now I'd like to see if I could spend some time navigating closer to the ground and turning without being pitched up. And I do find that with a little bit less wind, I manage landing not into the wind. <coughs> Another practice launch. Yeah, keeping the stick movement minimal is helping. I'd like to try another landing. As I swing around, I see the grounds machine has come into view, and so I opt to land with the wind rather than risk a further turn. Not bad. And another launch. Hey, practice. The wind's getting up, but it's less of an issue higher up. So, let's spend some time there. Hey, and there's space for trying some other moves. So, even though I seem to be pushed sideways, yep, I can. That's a fairly nice loop. Probably best to bring it in while we're mostly in one piece. <laughs> 